Really interesting match here in round 11 of the 2018 Intrust Super Shoot Shield. Sydney University up against Randwick who needed a win to put themselves right back in touch with the finals bound sides. But Sydney Uni Camp Shepherd too strong, certainly around the forwards early on. Yeah, well, it started with their defence and they put the exclamation mark on that with their forward pack. They were absolutely brilliant all afternoon long. And it was little tries like this that, as we said during the broadcast, weren't pretty, but they just did the simple things well and they just ground Randwick down and down and down and really the first three tries in the opening half to the Sydney University all looked very similar. This was a no lovely little bit of work from Mitch Short though and Seamus Frost. A big blind side. Frost identified it and smart work from Mitch Short to get out there, get the ball in his hands and fought very well through contact to score Randwick's opening try. Well, they were right in it early. The uni forward pack was certainly good when they were up it towards the try line. They kept going and going and going. Thea Strang, a man-shaped man of the match, had them moving really well. But, uh, Randwick just couldn't stop them at this point. And the second try coming to uh, Theo Strang himself off the side, always in the right position. Yeah, well, he was our man shake man of the match for a reason, wasn't he? He was everywhere. The speed at the breakdown, but also the way he directed traffic. He's a very, very smart rugby player. And he used all his wits in this one, get the forwards on the front foot and then dived over for a great try. Unfortunately for Randwick, they were just lacking a little bit of spark this afternoon, weren't they? They had a lot of ball and a lot of opportunity. However, little mistakes let them down. Uh, probably uh, a, a lack of energy and a, and a lack of, uh, I think, um, attacking prowess where just they needed to shake it up a little bit. They got 2-1 out on many an occasion. Uh, as we see uh, Harry Johnson Holmes scoring the third try, very similar uh, to the first two from Sydney University. But yeah, Randwick, unfortunately, they were just a little bit short, probably at 90% for me today. And unfortunately uh, for them, Sydney University showed why they are up there at the top of the table. It's not always pretty, but when you are leading the competition, you've got to find a way to keep on winning and keeping everybody at bay. James Kane getting a try right at the death and it ended up leading to the 28 points to 10 win for Sydney University. So they maintain their spot on top of the ladder for Randwick. It's a similar story from so far this season. Right in the contest for much of it. It was 21-10 at halftime and then it was a real arm wrestle in the second half.